All right, so let's take a walk through this little intro to exponential functions. Let's, let's take a look at this pattern. How do we get from 6 to 18 and 18 to 54 and 54 to 162? So if you multiply each of those by 3, that's how you're getting to the next one. So if we multiply 162 by 3, we get 486. And by 3 again, we get 1,400. 58. If we divide by 3, we get 2, so that's when x is 0, y is going to be 2. So if we're talking about describing the pattern in words, we're talking about multiplying each one by 3. Um, so if you realize that this is 2, and then 6 is the result of 2 times 3, and 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. And 54 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 threes. 2 times 4 threes. You get the picture. So this number is how many of those threes we're going to multiply by. And so if we're going to write an equation, it's going to start with 2, and we're going to multiply by 3 repeatedly. And when we multiply by 3 repeatedly, that's when we get an exponent. So, if we were to look at what this looked like graphically, you'd get, say, 500 and 1,000, 1,500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so at 6 you're almost at the 1,500 mark. 5, you're about a third as high, a third as high, a third, a third, a third. And so if you graphically make this curve, you're going to continue dividing by 3 as you go to the left, which is the opposite of multiplying by 3, which makes sense. But you're going to get continually smaller, but not ever actually get to 0. If you continue to, to divide by 3, it's just going to continue getting smaller, and you're going to get closer and closer to zero, but not ever touch it. That's what we're going to call an asymptote. So, y equals zero is that asymptote of that equation. Domain and range? Well, domain, we've seen that we've used positives, we've seen that we use zero. Um, are we allowed to raise a power to a negative, yes. So 3 to the negative 1, 3 to the negative second, that's when you flip it over and you get the reciprocal of it. And so our domain is going to be all real numbers. Our range, we don't have any y values down here. And so all of our y values don't even reach 0. And so I'm going to say all real numbers greater than 0 because that asymptote is the cutoff point. Now, moving on to our second one. It's going to look very similar, but now what we're doing is we're dividing by 2. And the same thing as dividing by 2 is multiplying by 1 half. And so we're going to get 5 over 4 and 5 over 8. And so you're going to see that you've got your 20 and your 10. And sorry, let's, uh, if we go backwards by multiplying by 2, it's going to be the opposite direction. And so here's our 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here's our 20 and our 10 and our 5. Half as much, half as much, half as much. So the same kind of deal happens as before, but in the opposite direction. So we're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Half as much each time. You might consider that each x is one half-life if you want to consider it like um, exponential decay that you've talked about maybe in a science class where this other one was exponential growth. And so our equation on this one, before you noticed that 0, 2, our 2 became right there, and our multiplying by 3 went right here. And so, 
we're going to get our equation y equals our initial value 40 and we're going to continually multiply by one half raised to the x. Some might write the equation as 40 divided by 2 raised to the x and that's fine as well but we're going to deal more with this it's going to look much more consistent um, and I'll show you the general form in the in the next section and so determine the domain and range. Domain again is going to be all real numbers. Changing to one half, changing to decay didn't matter in that regard. We can still take um, and plug every single x in. Our range, it's trying to be an r there, is the exact same thing again. We're going to be greater than zero because all of our y values are getting close to zero but not ever touching them and you can't ever get a negative number. And so yet again, we get a y equals 0 as an asymptote. So we'll go into a little more detail in the next video.